वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव होल्डर्स एंड इक्वेलिटी फॉर इनफाइनाइट सम एज आई टोल्ड यू इन लास्ट वीडियो दैट फॉर इनफाइनाइट सम प्रूफ वी विल यूज होल्डर इन इक्वेलिटी फॉर फाइनाइट सम एंड देन अ स्टेटमेंट फॉर कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ अ सीरीज कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दैट स्टेटमेंट ऑल राइट ऑल्सो लुक Let x equals to sequence x n and y equals to sequence y n. Both sequences are sequences of scalars. And what does this imply? This implies that both the sequences are bounded. What does this mean? This means both sequences, yeah, series, callos is bounded. All right. You can say the series is bounded. This statement. is very 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 important for the proof of holders in equality for infinite sum why i will tell you in proof why this is very very important because with the help of this term and the holders in equality for finite sum we will show for infinite sum what we have to show we have to show this in equality where this is the relation between p and q now let's start the proof let m be any positive integer then by holders inequality for finite sum holders inequality for finite sum what we have we have summation n from 1 to m x n y n is less than equal to summation n from 1 to m x n raised to the power p raised whole raised to the power 1 by p into summation n from 1 to infinity y n to the power q no oh, actually this is q this is q 1 by q correct in previous one also i think i have written it there 1 by p 1 by p all right so make it correct here uh this is correct for finite sum say 1 now as we know the series let us consider an a partial sum of this series nth partial sum of given series see nth partial sum lo kiska given series ka kya thi wo dekho independently xn series hai that is convert uh, that is bounded independently yn series is also bounded All right. If you multiply two bounded sequences, the product will also be bounded. You can check it by taking different different kind of examples, or you can generally prove that take an upper bound for x and lower bound for x, and same do for y, and then make product of these two. Then you will find that if both are independently in uh, bounded. their product is also bounded all right maybe upper bound and lower bound will be different from uh, which is x for x and for y but surely both uh, product will be bounded bounded below and as well as bounded below uh, above now we consider nth partial sum of the series nth partial sum is xn yn n from 1 to say n right we will consider this in the partial sum now in uh, if this product is bounded and see here is modulus of each term that means this term will never be less than 0 it can be equal to 0 but never be less than 0 that means this has lower bound this is monotonically increasing and bounded also monotonically increasing and bounded series must be convergent all right 
monotonically increasing and bounded series must be conversion that means this and the partial sum is conversion <coughs> uh, maybe it is uh, confusing for you pause the video and think about it what i am saying if you are still confused then repeat this portion यहाँ पे ध्यान रखने की चीज सिर्फ एक यही है कि हाउ यू आर सेइंग दैट दिस एनथ पार्शियल सम इज हियर वी हैव टेकन एमथ ओके एमथ पार्शियल सम इज हाउ कन्वर्जेंट और राइट देयर इज अ रिजल्ट दैट एवरी मोनोटोनिकली इंक्रीजिंग एंड बाउंडेड सीरीज इज ऑलवेज कन्वर्जेंट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दैट रिजल्ट it is given that this series is independently bounded and if we did product of these two series that will also be bounded so that's why from that boundedness and monotonically increasing property of this series i will say this is convergent all right <coughs> and in convergence of series you will know you know that if mth partial sum is convergent then series will also converge All right. During the proof of convergence of a series, we will use the nth partial sum. So, if this is convergent, what can I say? This implies summation n from one to infinity, x n y n is also convergent. Is also convergent. Since one is true for each positive integer m so what we will be do we will take take limit as m goes to infinity m ko humne very hi infinity pe kar diya then what we will get we will get n from 1 to infinity x and y n less than equal to समेशन एन फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी बिकॉज हमने एम को कहा वेरी करा दिया इन्फिनिटी वेरी करा दिया बिकॉज दिस इज होल्डिंग फॉर ईच इन टीजर और राइट एक्स एन रेस टू द पार बी रेस टू द पार वन बाई बी डॉट समेशन एन फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी ए वाई एन रेस टू द पार क्यू वन बाई क्यू All right. So this is your required result, which is holders inequality for infinite sum. Okay. Uh, maybe you will confused at this point, but if you try to uh, understand this portion, you will get easily. All right. So think about this portion. If there is any doubt, then you can message me or you can do comment. Okay. Thank you.